One of the hardest things that most of us are going to face is harsh criticism. I'm at the point here where I'm going to make a decision. And after looking at all of these votes and comments, I think I'm at the point here to officially say... Today we're going to jump into some body language from Ricky over at Income School who has taken over the lead at Channel Makers. And I want to compare that to what we already know about our good friend Nate Black who is now on his own. It's going to be tough to top the howdy howdy. Let's see what the audience said here. What's up, tubers? I vote you open with, hey all you cool cats and kittens, welcome to my channel. I highly recommend just going with the flow. You'll find your new opening. I sure hope I do. <laughs> Roses are red, slimy as bait. Hey there, creators. It's me, Nate. <laughs> In the next few minutes, I'm going to go over a video that Ricky posted on the Channel Makers platform, sort of explaining himself and how he feels about the way that it was being run by Nate versus how it's being run now. Here we go. Hey, Channel Makers. Today, I thought it would be a great opportunity to get together and discuss something that all of us as Channel Makers either face or are going to face at some point in our content creation career. Now, you notice that he starts out with an exhale. Uh, Hey, channel makers. This is indicative of someone who's very uncomfortable with what they're about to tell you, because even though they may believe it in their heart, they know that the audience that they're speaking to may not believe it. Hey, channel makers. Today, I thought it would be a great opportunity to get together and discuss something. Now, in this clip, you'll notice that Ricky talks about the criticism that he's receiving being focused primarily or squarely at him, but he also does an unconscious belch. And when we replay this, I want you to pay attention to it. You'll see him. Uh, it's when our stomach is nervous and gas begins to emit through your esophagus. Happens very frequently when you're questioning someone in an interrogation session. But it's happening here clearly out of nerves. And then after that statement, you'll notice that Ricky does something that we call a tongue jut. And what that means is he takes his tongue and his brain, without him thinking about it, is forcing him to go through the motions of spitting out what he's about to tell because he doesn't like it. Just like if you were to take something into your mouth that you really didn't like, the first thing you would want to do is to spit it out. So when you're about to say something that you really do not like, sometimes your brain will tell your tongue to remove it from your mouth. And that's what Ricky is doing here. It's called a tongue jut. You'll see him do this. And what that is, is your mouth kind of opens like you've got something in it and your tongue shovels it out. So watch what he does. Criticism though is directed pretty squarely at me. Criticism though is directed pretty squarely at me. And I, and I, and I felt like most of it was just based on a lack of information. Now this is a big statement because it goes to what Ricky has been talking about with Income School. I believe that Ricky's idea for channel makers was to have many more people involved and many more faces. At least that's the way that he is communicating it to everyone. And Nate ended up primarily being the face that we all know and love and we all enjoyed it. I'm not sure exactly how many of us would continue watching a channel where the person that we got to know and trust kept revolving and turning into other people. I'm not quite sure about that. But Nate was the face of channel makers and we all love him because of it. I'm not quite sure that that's what Ricky had in mind and therefore we have the rub that we're dealing with. That said, I'd like to take just a second to apologize for anybody that felt misled by the way this channel has been run up until now. It's my responsibility as the owner of the channel. It's my responsibility as the owner of this company what you just saw is called a resume statement. Now a resume statement is when you're trying to make yourself look very important. Ricky does two things here. First, he claims responsibility, which I respect, but then he throws in the resume statement of the owner of the channel using his hand as a baton gesture. Then after that, he increases his importance by saying, and as the owner of this company, and his hands move to the side, expressing the fact that the organization that he owns and runs is much larger than channel makers. But make no mistake, he wants you to know that he owns and runs channel makers as well as the organization that is attached to channel makers. 
Is my responsibility as the owner of the channel? It's my responsibility as the owner of this company? In this short clip, you'll see Ricky make a sound and a face of disbelief. He'll say something about it, that it should be run, uh, and he kind of shakes his face and looks astounded for a minute as though everyone should get this, but it looks like I have to say it. And then he steps in and says, that it should be run the way that he wants it run. Again, this is part of the resume statement. Uh, to, to run it the way that I want it run. And this is where he begins to turn on the heat just a little bit about how Nate was running the channel. After he continues his resume statement talking about his own transparency, which I appreciate, he goes into saying, and yet, as though it's something bad that was happening on the other side that he wasn't in control of. And then he goes on to begin to say that the channel was not being run as a transparent fashion. And the way that I tend to run things is very transparently. In fact, uh, any of you who view the Income School YouTube channel, you're probably aware of that. I'm a pretty open book. I do a lot of YouTube lives. People ask me questions and I probably reveal more than I should. It's the kind of person that I try to be. And yet, I still allowed this channel to be run in a way that wasn't as transparent as I wanted it, and that was clearly even less transparent than I thought it was. You notice that he says that I allowed this channel to be run in a way, and then he does the tongue jut again. I will run it again so that you see him again, use his tongue to spit out what he's about to say. You'll see him do that, that pressing out with his tongue. Yet, I still allowed this channel to be run in a way that wasn't as transparent as I wanted it, and that was clearly even less transparent than I thought it was. This is the clip that he begins to sort of set himself apart as higher up and better at this than Nate, because he's clearly putting Nate in a subservient learning position. He begins to tell us that people that they've hired, they had to teach how to do these things, and that Nate, is learning and is still learning how to do it correctly. But we hired employees to take that channel and to build it, to run with it. We taught those people, um, Nate being one of them in the very beginning and um, the one who primarily took over the channel, but we taught them everything we'd learned over years of creating YouTube channels. We had them work with us on our own channel. We, I mean, we basically tried to give them everything they would need to know to be able to grow uh, this channel. And really, they did a great job. And this is yet another statement where he's making Nate seem smaller because again, he is putting himself above and saying that Nate has done a good job with this channel of doing the things that he was taught, the things that he has learned. And then he gives him another compliment. He's done a good job. But then again, after that compliment, he then elevates himself, making Nate small again by saying that Nate not only has done a good job, but he's done a good job with what he has learned. For a long time, for basically three years now, um, Nate has been the primary face of that channel. And to many of you, he was the only face of that channel. And he did a great job building it up. Um, and he's learned a lot of great things and did just a fantastic job of presenting the things that he learned. As Ricky begins to wrap up, he makes a mistake here. He's been trying to push the idea that he has always wanted there to be many faces to this organization, and Nate only showed his face. But then Ricky goes on to do the same thing. He says that, I hope that you continue to join me, and then he realizes, oops, I just talked about the importance of the others. And he laughs and says, ha ha ha, and my team here on Channel Makers. So I hope you will continue to join me um, and the rest of the team here at Channel Makers as we continue to create that sort of content for you. So in essence, what I would say here is I don't think that Ricky is being disingenuous. I do believe that it seems as though his intention was for Channel Makers to maybe have more faces. But I think the inherent problem with that is like with anything, when you have an audience that grows accustomed to a certain thing and a certain personality and a certain person, 
they become not only accustomed, they begin to expect that. So I think that Nate did exactly what he was supposed to do. He was hired to grow a channel and to make it flourish. That's exactly what he did. I applaud Nate. He did a wonderful job. He's one of my very favorite creators to watch and I respect him thoroughly. I don't think that Nate did anything wrong here. In my opinion, I think Nate simply outgrew what Ricky had intended for Nate's position to be. So what I'm going to do here is let Nate have the last word on this video. This is straight from one of his newest videos. Check it out. I'm at the point here where I'm going to make a decision. And after looking at all of these votes and comments, I think I'm at the point here to officially say... Howdy, howdy, everyone. Nate here. Welcome back.